My RV is considered a lightweight. What that basically means is there's not a lot of weight difference between the gross vehicle weight rating and the unloaded weight rating, which would be basically the cargo carrying capacity. Now my RV, the uh, cargo carrying capacity is 1,235 pounds. And given that it has a 60 gallon fresh water tank, if I carried a full load uh, of water, we're talking 500 pounds off the 1,200 pound cargo carrying capacity, which is really a severe hit. So I have to practice some cargo management, meaning that I'm not going to be able to travel with a full load. And also, we tend to go to a lot of state parks in the area which do not have full hookups. Uh, the water and sewer is non-existent at the campsite, but it does have electric. So one of the strategies is to travel with a minimal amount of water, say 10 gallons, and that will give you ample water in case you need to use the bathroom or wash your hands or rinse something off on the trip, then you have some water with you. And it's only 80 pounds or so, 10 gallons, so it's not a lot. And then once we get to where we're going, of course, then we can fill up. Well, the other issue is if we're there for a while, we may have to actually dump with a, like a dump buddy or something like that and then fill up the tank again. And that presents its own issue because I don't want to have to tear down the campsite to take the RV over to the dump station to fill it up with water again. The rig here has a sanitize mode, and in the sanitize mode, the onboard water pump is used to pump a bucket of your sanitizing solution into the fresh water tank. Well, you can use that same mode for just pumping in uh, water. So what I have here is basically two five gallon jugs that I can uh, throw in the back of the pickup truck and go get 10 gallons of water at a time. And then with this adapter that I made, which is uh, basically a PEX tubing uh, with a hose fitting, then I can just simply put this in each uh, bucket of water and put my valves in the sanitized mode and then turn on the, the water pump. And then I'm pumping water into my fresh water tank from the two buckets. Now, usually I can get just 10 gallons at a time and that's fine. But, you know, if I gotta make a couple trips because we need a little more, then that's fine too. And then so the other issue is how do I know when I get 10 gallons of water in the fresh water tank? Well, I got this little water meter that's not very expensive, it's like 10, 12 bucks. And they're not 100% accurate, but you know, they're close enough. So we're gonna use this uh, water meter to hook up to our city water so that at home before we leave, I can meter 10 gallons of water into the fresh water tank. But this time, instead of sanitize, I'm gonna use the power fill tank mode which basically means uh, pressurized water in the city water inlet and that will pump it in. So we're just going to see how accurate this is by filling these two buckets uh, full and just see how close to 10 gallons that makes. Now I've got the uh, water flow meter connected and I've got a little valve on the end here and I'm just going to turn it on. And you can see here where the water flow is being measured. All right, we basically, even though this five, says five gallons, we basically have a six gallon bucket. So that's good to know, at least according to this. All right, there's 12.4 12 gallons, but you know, I did spill some. So if I use this for 10 gallons, and it's actually putting in 12, that's still close enough. I mean, that's a 20% error rate, I suppose, but you know, $10 is what can you expect. So now I've changed my valves to power fill tank from city water. Then here's my city water inlet coming down and being connected to the flow meter and then to the city uh, line. And if I depress this switch here, it zeroes out the top. So this is uh, per fill and this is an accumulator. And then if you push the bottom one, then you can zero that out too. So we're just gonna put 10 gallons in here. Okay, actually we're coming up on 12 gallons. Right there is 12. 
which means that I've actually got 10 gallons uh, of water in my freshwater tank. Even with a bit of an error, you know, it's not a big deal. So uh, this way I can always tell how much water I'm putting in. Uh, and that's, again, for uh, weight management due to the fact that I've got a limited amount of cargo carrying capacity in my RV.